Kiara, this is Mary Joseph, and we are here in the AJV uh, Services Hamilton office. We are on 426 Victoria Street, right in the city of the beautiful uh, city centre of Hamilton City. So we are here with Anant. Anant's one of our students, uh, one of our IT graduates. Um, Anant has been here in the country for two years now yes. yeah so our Anand came in uh, around around November 2017 he's come here to study the diploma in computing in uh, networking and support uh, he graduated at a level 7 from New Zealand School of Education which is based in Auckland so uh, he finished studying and um, here he is today to give us the news, uh, the amazing news that he found a job um, as a cyber security analyst. That's an amazing title with Datacom, who one of the biggest IT companies here. So I will now pass on the conversation to An Anand for him to say what he's gone through and what his experiences were. Sure. So t tell us something about your journey. Yeah. So basically, uh, after two declinations, and I was with some local agent okay. and he took me for business course mm -hmm. and I actually oh yeah I remember that yeah and and the the funny part is I was your counselor at that yeah, time yeah. so you at know I time. kind of remember yes yes yeah so I was going through the YouTube and I accidentally just uh, saw Arun Jacobs one video and but his face was not there it was random just a window is there and he was just speaking about some students success okay and how he sorted so uh, I just found his email and randomly without any expectations I just emailed him that mm -hmm. saying that these are the thing and I want to grow and mm -hmm. this is my story mm -hmm. and literally I was not expecting for any reply mm -hmm. but after some few days I mm -hmm. got a reply mm -hmm. and I saw that he oh he's a immigration licensed immigration advisor yes, so it's right. worth mm -hmm. to contact him sure. and from there uh, he said that Nishanti Benjamin gonna yeah. actually uh, contact you and gonna proceed and I felt happy I told my mom that I uh, know this local agent was wrong uh, I still can get IT uh, else I was in yeah. a myth that I can't get IT why is that why did you think that you won't get into IT because I, I remember for a fact that you did a diploma in electronics engineering yeah. so why did you feel that you're not suitable for IT oh uh, well as I was completely new for the abroad education and even the agents actually told me that you are not eligible for that so I just randomly believed them. It's, it's, that's the state of all agencies yeah, yeah, who don't understand true, these things. True. Yeah. And I realized that you should never go with the local agents. <laughs> really. I mean, uh, to say we were also based in India at that time. Yeah. I was still in India. I remember in 2017 I hadn't moved with my family and Nishanti was based out of Mumbai yeah. and I was based in uh, Hyderabad. And, we we are also considered a local agency, but I think the difference is set that sets us apart is we are a licensed immigration yeah, advisor true. company, and more importantly, we're based in New Zealand. Yeah. I think that is the defining yeah. factor of yeah. And also, the the way Nishanti Benjamin actually motivated me that why you think that you can't get you actually you are eligible f to get that and we can mm. just proceed. Sure. And which was really positive aspect for me. That's and that's great. Yeah, then that's great. I just started with you people, and it was very quick. Yeah, the AGV process was very fast and yeah. That's, that's brilliant. So that's all in the past. Now tell yeah. us about your uh, your point. journey in New Zealand ah, and right. what exactly happened so here. So basically I joined my college in November 2017 and it was a one year course. Mm -hmm. And as per my plan, because I kept a plan from India that what, uh, what I'm going to do and synchronizing with that studies and what are the steps I'm going to take, what are my goals, I have written it. Sure. And while I was studying, I prepared for some certifications and I did all those. What kind of certifications would somebody to become a cyber security analyst have to well, do? Uh, here in New Zealand, as per my research, OSCP and CEH are the bestest ones, uh, but you need a lot of determination to complete mm. those because these certifications really check your skills and talent. Sure. And if you are really coming to New Zealand with a goal that no I want to become this then you should actually do this so did you and come with sorry to interrupt did you come yeah. with a thought of becoming a cyber security yes. analyst oh, yes that's brilliant uh, in my SOP of my first application with AJV I have written my last goal as working as a penetration tester or a cyber security analyst under the New Zealand professionals that is my goal for which I was coming and continuously from 2017 I was working on them so 
I knew that time is a very critical thing and one year is gonna go like this and I didn't wait it for long and with studies I was doing my college studies and in the nights I was working for my certifications That's good. and I slowly received every certification my research worked well I was going very well with mm. all the steps yeah I had gone with so many professionals so many interviews and I noted down all the weaknesses what I was facing. Right. And so what did you do towards addressing those weaknesses because mm, well uh, there were so many weaknesses and how I addressed were in terms of CV I didn't know how to write a CV how to expose your skills how New Zealand employers look at your CV. So I did those and I improved, I contacted some professionals as well and I also sent AJV2 so many times that could you please check my CV and I contacted Arun Jacob yeah. and he has sent my CV to several people as well in who come under AJV mm -hmm. and they gave me some feedback and I improved those mm -hmm. and regarding the skills like um, the funniest was the English language, I was very weak in English language like written skills. I lost so many opportunities because of that so yeah. I just kept a note without having any disappointment. Sure. Yeah. Uh, I tried, I tried and I learned everything and finally I can see some good growth. Absolutely. I mean I must commend you for your efforts because I remember the first time when you came to New Zealand mm -hmm. I, I remember at what levels of English you yeah. were at and what you're doing right. If you're having this conversation at this length <laughs> with me, yeah. trust me you've gone from here to yeah, here. True. So it's, it's amazing to see you grow, it's amazing to see you become this professional over here um, uh, uh, you know what 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 the only thing that I can take away from Anand's journey is persistence and understanding what you're capable of and where you need to develop yourselves in is very very important yeah. and the third most important work with the right people you yeah, need to have true. people you need true. to have friends you need to have a support yes. system like AJV who can yeah. guide you through and keep telling you hey you, you know yeah, you're all right true. and to be honest uh, the honest review about AJV I can give is mm -hmm very straightforward mm -hmm. and whenever I need help like uh, help. Ah, you've, you've got called off from me a lot of times you know, <laughs> you know I I mean Anand has heard a yeah, lot of truly. you know I've been really really upfront and straightforward <laughs> with them and say Anand stop asking me these kind of stupid questions or <laughs> to say Anand go find this out yourself you know because I think sometimes we need to be blunt you know we don't yeah. like to sugarcoat it and say you know what everything's going to be all right or say yeah yeah we'll spoon feed you with everything yeah. there have been days I told you Anand Yes. You need to do this SOP by yourself. Yeah, I true. cannot sit and write that for you because I'm not the one sitting and studying. Yeah, so I think I think that's what it is about. It yes. is not sugar coating and letting yes, you know that that's straightforward. And yeah. really, honestly, you were the strictest person <laughs> I have felt with AJV. And yeah, but the guidelines means if I ask for some help and if you mention these are the three steps and if I go through those three steps, done. That's I reached my goal. Now, so uh, also, I, I, heard, I hear from you that you have done some voluntary work. Can yeah. you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, while I was in college, uh, I had a professor and who was very impressed with our knowledge and skills and our dedication. So at the time, our uh, college used to have a free service with InZone Education Foundation, which is a like upgrading and like motivating Ma Maori and Pacific uh, youth. Mm -hmm. So they have set up all their network like networkings and wireless networks and they need someone to yeah. just look after it. So we took a opportunity that because yeah. learning the New Zealand environment, culture, this is the bestest opportunity. Brilliant, brilliant. Yeah, so yeah, that course. also helped us a lot uh, making some contacts and working hands on with the technologies yeah. because it's a lot of difference yeah. between the technologies what you played in India and here. And yeah, it yeah, is I mean, really nice. Yeah, I mean, if you're culture. coming to Aotearoa, yeah. you need to you need to know yeah. the, you know the culture here. Yes, you need true. to know the the Maori, the yes. indigenous culture yes. here, and it's very very important. I think a lot of uh, students coming from India, for example, we like to you know like to stay in their own cocoon in their own yeah. in their within their own culture because yeah, it true. makes them comfortable. But you come this far, you cannot mm. stay comfortable. You have to push your boundaries yes. and get out there and yes. you know do stuff. And amazing work, <laughs> Anant, and congratulations. Thank you. Um, and we we hope that you know you will be a source of ins inspiration. Yes. We are also going to you know 
put you up front in there yep, sure. and ensure that you know our students get motivated by you yes, I I'm will, always there to help. yes and, yes. and I'm glad uh, you yes. are open to this and yeah so um, um, is, is there any final words before we wrap um, up yeah, yeah I would like to suggest and advise the future students who are coming to New Zealand come with a plan because I also come up with a plan and yeah. I know there will be some ups and downs you will be facing due to just a sudden change but please being me, I'm here. Yeah, and yeah. In regarding Anand's, IT, yes, IT, hundred percent. I'm gonna surely show you what is the best yeah. pathway as per your plan goals. and goal. Yeah, yeah. right. Sure, great, great. That's for sure because I like to share knowledge <laughs> and I will surely help because I struggled a lot. Sounds good. And yeah. Great. Thank you so much, Anand. It was such an amazing, uh, you. you know, opportunity. And um, yeah, and thanks for uh, for you guys to come online, look up for HIV number one. And we hope this video is helpful for you. And we'll, we'll continue to add more uh, success stories like Anand, specific, course specific, uh, you know, success stories. And uh, yeah, so, so please like and subscribe our channel. Yeah, share it with family and friends, but uh, please make the right choice of choosing New Zealand and AJV. Thank you and kaki te ano.